Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Um, I really want to thank you so much, my new and my returning subscribers, for all your energies here. I really appreciate you one and all. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey, a part of my soul tribe, a part of my family. I appreciate you. Alright, I'm not going to be doing a reading now, but I'm just here to speak about something. Um, be careful as to what we are trying to hold on to. Sometimes things that we are trying or fighting to hold on to are the exact things that we're supposed to let go. This could be a friendship, a job, a marriage, something, anything. We are fighting for years to hold on to the thing that is causing us stress, that's causing us a lot of unhappy feelings you know we know exactly how we feel when we want to let go of things but because we have a big heart we keep holding on to things that's creating a lot of pain for us we are empaths most of us not all of us but we prefer to have people being happy around us than even to create any problem. But sometimes the truth is we need to be brave and bold enough to be able to talk about the things that no longer serve us. We are supposed to be strong enough to let go of any situation, people, job, friends, anything that no longer serves your highest good. Because if it is not creating growth, for you it's no longer worth holding on to it's like a person i'm just gonna use this as an example i was talking to my mother the other day and she said to me you know sometimes we hold on to things that we are supposed to let go it's like a person sending you a barrel or shipping something to you and you paid so much to have that barrel shipped to you only to realize when the barrel got to you or it should get to you, it's an empty barrel that has nothing in it. It has no worth. It has no value. It will never add anything to your life. But you spend all your funds believing that something good <laughs> was in that empty barrel, <laughs> that empty box. <laughs> you know, I had to laugh. My mother is 84. But her sense of humor <laughs> is the best. So, yeah. So sometimes we hold on to things that we are supposed to let go long ago. It's like God is trying to shut that door and we are trying to buy chisel and hammer and pickaxe and stuff to tear off the door that God is already closing or, or shut for you but you're still holding on to it. No, Lord, this cannot be true. You go to the hardware store, you buy chisel just to have it re reopen, and God is actually bracing you. Hey, stay away from that door. It's dangerous, but you so in love, maybe. You love your job. You love your marriage. You yes, you are the same one. <laughs> is being hurt or is hurting, just holding on to the pain of things that you're supposed to let go. I know it is hard. There's no easy way of saying goodbye, but sometimes we just got to be strong enough to let go. I'm smiling, but amen. <laughs> yeah, I can only say that. Amen. Yeah, so a lot of persons are going through the same things that I'm going through. A lot of us go, goes through, but are even went through. So not everybody is bold enough to come out and say, hey, if things no longer serve your highest good, if there's, any, if there's no growth, if there's nothing there of value, what are you holding on to it for? You need to think of progress. You need to think of growth. You need to think of moving on. If there's a problem that can be fixed, if there's a problem that can be resolved, resolve the problem. If it cannot be resolved, you just need to let it go. 
it might be hard easier to say than done but that's reality so be careful of what we are holding on to with our dear life because what we think is good for us just remember god is able to see and listen is is hearing things that we don't so when a thing is trying to let go of you just let it go don't try or fight to hold on to it because chances are god is showing you the red flags for you to let go he put a nail in the door shut and you are going to the hardware to get people to help you to open the door that is already signed off by god to hey this is no longer for you so be careful as to what you hold on to with your dear life yeah so that's my maybe a lot of person might not resonate with this but if you do let me know by commenting down below Aaron, like even liking the message but thank you so much again for joining me here at the galaxy good night